Hello everybody watching. Today I'm going to talk about something very near and dear to my heart and that is taking photographs. Now the subject matter of this video is how to take photographs even though you are not a professional photographer. And a lot of people are terrible at photographing things. They're always blurry or uh, the, the lighting's off and I get that. I started where you guys were. I was terrible once too. Sometimes I still think I am. But um, there is a way to fix that. There is a way to minimize how terrible the picture is. There is a way to learn and adapt to so that you can become a better photographer. Now you may notice that I'm a kid and you guys probably don't like taking advice from kids. I understand that. I don't like taking advice from kids either, but hear me out on this one. So, I go on forums a lot, and nine times out of ten, there will be a new person on there, and they'll be wanting to know about an artifact they found, or a relic they found, and they'll take this picture, but the picture does not convey any information. It doesn't tell you how big it is. It doesn't say... Uh, you, it's not clear. It's not showing up. It, it's blurry. It's It's dark you can't tell what it is you can't see identifying marks and there's a way that you can do that stop doing that and uh, I'm just gonna show you a few tips and uh, give a little bit of advice that I've been thinking on because I felt like this video needed to be made because I've just you know do you quite frank had it up to here with subpar picture taking but uh, don't beat yourself up about it I, like I said I was there with you, but uh, all right, let's 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 see uh, let's see what I can teach here before uh, the sun sets. All right, so right here I have a Native American celt or an axe or whatever whatever you guys call it. But it's it's just called celt. Uh, this was found in the Ohio River, and uh, right now it's low light, the sun setting, and my battery is dying. So I'm gonna try and make this quick, but. There's low light, all right? And usually when people take pictures of their artifacts, it's when they come home from work and there's not much light left, if any. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put your camera on a tripod. Now, as you see, I have a fancy Nikon camera. Well, it's actually not fancy. It's basic, but it's a Nikon camera. I know some of you guys don't have any cameras like this, but if you have an iPhone or if you have or just a, a, a smartphone, if you just have a flip phone, they make tripods for cell phones. Put your camera on a tripod. It will come out so much better. You'll be able to have more control. There will be less blur. Uh, and, and overall, you can control the lighting better and the exposure and all that good stuff. But put your camera on a tripod. That's That's my number one word of advice to use to put it on a tripod right now I am breaking my own rules by photographing in really low light but uh, it, it can be done like I said with a tripod if you can have a tripod you can control a lot of what light is being shown but the best time to take pictures is in direct sunlight Always, if possible, take pictures of whatever you're doing in direct sunlight. It'll come out better. The color will be better. It'll be it'll just be overall better. But if, like I said earlier, if you have a job where you're working and you come home at dusk or nighttime, it's still doable. You can still do it if you know what you're doing proper. If you know what you're doing, and you do it properly. Back to the cell. Again, in low light situations, use the flash. Don't be scared to use the flash. But here's another hint, or, or tip, not hint. Don't take the camera and put it so close to the artifact that it completely washes it out, drowns it out. You want to be back. You can always crop in. You can't, don't, just don't do this. All right? Just don't. It does not work like that unless you have one of those gigantic macro lenses have it out to about here have it out so that the artifact fills in the whole frame have it out to about here don't zoom in on it and on the flip side don't have it six miles out you don't want it you know 
you, you want to be able to see it. Try fill the frame, but don't zoom in so close that it's blurring detail. My final tip is experiment. If it's not going the way you want, keep trying. I mean, it will eventually work itself out. It took me about three years before I could actually take really good pictures of my camera. Um, this video was short. It wasn't very instructional the way I wanted it to go because of the little battery. But I hope you guys will just at least take a little bit of this advice and put it to use. And uh, thank you for watching. And thank you for listening to this kid. I'm glad you made it to the end of the video. Thank you.